Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi, where today I want to address a mistake I see being made over and over and over, say in videos and in print, where people are saying that WAV files are the exact same as files on a compact disc. This isn't true. Now, I'm not saying that they can't sound the same as the files on a compact disc. What people are saying is that they are the files on a compact disc, that if you opened up a compact disc somehow and looked at the files, you would see a whole bunch of WAV files there. Not true. But to understand why it isn't true, you have to understand a little bit of the history of the compact disc and the WAV file format. So the compact disc was introduced to the public in 1982. It was a format developed by Sony and Philips to provide digital music playback for the home. At that time, there were personal computers around, but people didn't use them to play back music. You needed the optical disc because personal computers at that time had, say, a 10 megabyte hard drive. That wouldn't hold one three-minute CD resolution file. So you needed the optical disc format that Sony and Philips developed under what was called the Red Book Standard, which held almost 700 megabytes. And that standard from Sony and Philips not only detailed the construction of the disc, everything from the materials and how it needed to be made, but also the file structure of that disc, including the files on it. They were not WAV files. So now let's flash forward nine years to 1991 when people had the storage space to play back music on their computers. The problem is they didn't have a file structure. The compact disc format was not designed for computers. So along came IBM and Microsoft with the WAV file format. And that WAV file format allowed for storage of uncompressed music files like you find on a compact disc, but on a computer. However, they're not the same files. So to get the files from the compact disc to the computer, they had to be read from the compact disc and re-encoded into the WAV file format, a process we commonly call ripping. So why do people often confuse WAV files for being the ones on a compact disc? Probably a few reasons. Number one would be they don't know the history of the compact disc and the WAV file format. Number two is they're both uncompressed music format so many people think well they must be the same but number three is where it gets a little confusing so as the computer business grew and grew and grew so did the technologies that came with it and in that came derivations of the original compact disc and when i say derivations they took the original optical disc format and made it into a computer format remember cdrs and rws ones you could write once only to or write many times to, all that sort of thing. Well, they became used in the home and you could use them for a variety of things, including burning your own CDs to the original specification of the compact disc format and they would play in most CD players. Or you could write to them like a computer disc and you could lay WAV files on them. And like I said, there was a confusing part. And here it is. You had two discs, say, that were visually the same. One made, though, as the original compact disc specification. The other is really a computer disc. And if you took that computer disc and plopped it into an, say, 80s era CD player, it wouldn't play. It didn't know what a computer disc was. It didn't know what WAV files were. But usually that one burned to the compact disc format would play. So what became a thing in the 1990s and up until today was to make compact disc players that could read a multitude of discs. And you'll see these, they'll get computer drives that can read CD-R, CD-RW, CD-whatever, and original compact discs. But understand this. The optical format of these discs that came out in the 90s were not and still aren't the original compact discs specification that Sony and Philips used. The original compact disc specification, which is how CDs are still sold in the store, do not have WAV files on them. Nor do they have FLAC files, AIFF files, or the myriad other lossless file types we have today. Thank you for watching, and if you like this type of content, please subscribe.